be able to see my screen as the main screen. I just want to make sure that um, you know your own body. If you have specific injuries, especially spinal things, you'll hear that I'll say if you have something with your spine, it could be bulging discs, spondylolisthesis, spondylysis, and so forth. I will tell you to make your ranges a lot smaller, or I will change the exercise for you completely and say, could you rather do this than what we're actually going to do now? The whole point of this class is absolute and total relaxation. So I'm not going to be training anything. I'm not going to be working any muscles hard. We're actually going to try and stay away from that as much as possible. Um, those of you that do actually train with me or have in the past know that that's normally not my modus operandi. I'm all about, come on, let's get those muscles working. But today we absolutely want to let go. I personally love this class because it's a feel good class for me too. And I think um, during this time and us being stuck in our houses and the only place we can go to is the shops and in our car, we really do need something to just take our mind off of everything. I'm not going to watch you guys do it because I've got it on the spotlight video because there are people that book this that can't attend because they're not in our time zone. So we then send them the recording and I'm sure you guys don't all want to be on the recording with <laughs> lots of little gallery views. So I do the full class and you just follow me. You're on mute. I can't see you. I can't hear you. So it doesn't matter if you feel uncomfortable or you think that you're maybe looking a bit awkward. Nobody can see you. So it's all about just enjoying the class. You'll see the others will filter in as we go. Uh, we're expecting 45 people on here today and um, a couple that obviously aren't going to be here because they're waiting for the recording. Right, so we're going to get going. I want you to be on your mat. You've got your towel and you'll see how I've actually folded the towel. So I take a really big towel and I fold it into like a block. I'm not going to roll it. There we go. Like that. Okay. So it's not rolled up. It's just nice and flat. If I roll it up, it's going to be too intense on your spine. So I want this at your upper back. Can you please? So we're going to put it right in the upper back there. And it's right underneath your shoulder blades. Okay. All you're going to do for me is put your hands behind your head and just rest your head over onto the mat. I want you to relax your elbows open, but don't drop them to the floor. Keep them in your peripheral vision because then your scapula is in a really good position. You're going to stay in that position for me and you'll feel that it's really pressing into your upper back and allowing it to do a little bit of extension. From there, take a really deep inhale, expanding the rib cage as much as you can, and then exhale, just blowing it all out. It's all relaxed, we're not contracting anything. Deep inhale. And exhale. Just blowing it all out, every last little bit. And a deep inhale. And exhale. Last one, deep inhale. And exhale, blowing it all out. You will have felt your back would have released a little bit, so reach your arms right up above your head here. I want you to take your legs over to the right hand side and lengthen that left arm away from you as much as you can and then bring it back to the center. Legs go over to the left as you inhale and reach that right arm far away from you and then exhale back to the center. Inhale, legs go over to the right, reaching that left arm far away from you and then bringing it back into the center. And reaching it over to the left, right arm reaches far away from you 
and bringing it back into the center, the last one each side. And we go inhale, reaching it far away. That left arm really extends away and bringing it back to the center. Last one, legs reach over to the left and pull that right arm away from you and gently bringing it back into the center. Keep your head exactly where it is. Float your arms up to the ceiling. You're gonna release inside your shoulders. So you'll feel like you're arching your back a little bit, but that's okay, because it's in that upper back. I want you to freely just circle your arms and keep your chin in for me slightly. So we're just getting those shoulders to relax and to totally breathe out. Reverse those circles for me. So we're going the other way. Still reaching those arms away from you. Chin stays in. Bringing it to the center. Float the arms above your head. As you do that, I want you to arch your back. Bring the arms up to the ceiling and press the lower back into the floor. So you'll see I'm actually tucking my pelvis. And floating the arms up, arching the back. Bringing the arms up and pressing that back into the floor. And floating the arms up, arching the back, and bringing the arms up and trying to get that back into the floor. Last one, taking it up, 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 with a big inhale. And exhale, bringing it back up to the top. Legs go to the right, both arms go over to the left as you inhale. Exhale, bringing it back to the center. Inhale, legs go over to the left, arms go over to the right. Exhale, back to the center. Inhale, legs to the right, arms to the left. Be careful if you've got any disc issues with this rotation. And exhale, make that range really small. And inhale, over to the left with the legs and right with the arms. And exhale, bring it back up to the center. Take your right knee for me and curl your chest up towards your legs. So you've got that towel that's supporting you under your lower back and pull your right knee in as well. So it's pulling you right, right in. You're gonna take behind the right heel and I want you to straighten that leg up for me as much as you can and bring it in. If you struggle with that, grab behind the calf and make that movement smaller. You don't have to straighten the leg. And we go, reaching it up, hold, and gently release. And really aiming to get a straight leg up, hold, and gently release. And extending it up, reach, hold, and gently release. Last one, reaching it up, hold, Bringing it in, grab this knee for me with your opposite hand, extend that left leg down and rotate over. So I'm still resting on the towel and I'm putting this right knee over to the left and putting it in towards my chest, really getting that mobility in the hip and then bringing it back to the center. Both legs in again. We hold on to the heel of the left foot or behind the calf. We straighten that leg up as much as you can and gently bending it in and reaching it up as much as you can and slowly bending it in. So the towel is allowing you to rest there and bending it in. Last one for me, reaching it up as much as you can. Bend it in, grab the knee with the right hand, extend the left leg down, rotate over to that knee that you're holding, keeping it there, increasing that rotation in the spine, gently bringing it back into the center. In this position, I want you to open the knees out as much as you can and slowly bring it back up. Circle it in, opening it out as much as you can and slowly controlling it. Bringing it all the way, opening it out as much as you can and circling it up. Exhale. <sighs> Inhale, open. And bringing it up. Last one. Exhale. <sighs> Opening it out. And slowly controlling it. Putting the right knee in, 
Left leg down. Relax your head down so you'll feel that still arching your upper back. You can move that towel slightly if you need to. So I'm pulling this knee into my chest here. Stay there for me. Take the right knee, pull it over to the left hand side. We're keeping that there for five, four, three, two, one, and gently bringing it up, switching over. So we hold on to that left knee, pulling it nice and close to the chest, pulling that left knee over to the right shoulder, holding it there for five, four, three, two, one, and gently bringing it back. Extending both legs out on the floor, reaching both arms above the head, and you'll feel how that towel presses into that thoracic spine and how it adjusts your neck. You're going to stay there, take a really deep inhale, and as you do that, pull the legs and arms away from each other, and we inhale. And exhale, release. And inhale. And exhale, release. And inhale. And exhale, release. So you're going to shuffle this towel down to just underneath your pelvis. So now it's actually lifting my glutes up. Don't put it into your lower back. That's going to hurt it. In this position, relax your arms by your sides. Feet a little bit further away. You're going to exhale, just squash that back down. So you'll see I'm tucking my pelvis. And then inhale, release and arch. Exhale, tucking it through, squashing that back down. And then inhale, release and arch. And exhale, we tuck that pelvis through. My abdominals are soft, so I'm not contracting them this time. And inhale, just release and stretch the abs. In exhale, pulling it back, squashing that back down. And then inhale, gently release it. Keeping it here for me, pull the right knee into the chest. And I want you to pull it so far in that you feel your back squash into the floor. Take your left leg and extend it down. If you're struggling to stretch it down, it's because your hip flexors in the front of your hip are restricting you. They're tight. I want you to really reach that leg away from you. Pull this knee into your chest for me. Take a really deep inhale. Exhale, release. Deep inhale. Exhale, release. Pull that knee into your chest, extending that right leg down for me as far as you can. So you want to feel that there's a stretch over the front of the hip. Pull this knee into your chest as much as you can. Deep inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Bringing both knees into the chest. Curve it all the way in to press that back into the floor and round your chest up for me towards your knees. So you've got your head on your knee. I want you to straighten your right leg if you can, as much as you can. And bend it in, straightening the left leg just to where you can, and bending it in, and straightening the right leg just to where you can, and bringing it in, and straightening the left leg just to where you can, and bringing it in. Trying to straighten both legs for me as much as you can, and gently bringing it in, placing the legs down. For those of you who have sensitive backs, I just want you to round your spine, lift slightly, and release onto the towel. Round the spine, lift slightly, 
release onto the towel. Everybody else, I want you to flip over for me and place your knees on your forehead. So I'm resting my knees on my forehead there. You're going to take a really deep inhale. Exhale, blowing it out. Deep inhale. Exhale, blow it out. Deep inhale. Exhale, blow it out. You're going to start straightening your legs a little bit. I don't need them fully straight. Grab behind your knees, roll yourself down slowly. And as you do that, push your knees into your chest and you'll feel how it presses into your back and then gently place your legs down again. In this position, reach your arms above your head. We're gonna mobilize the thoracic and the lumbar spine. I want you to round your back for me, bring it up to a diagonal line and then curve it back down and feel how it releases that upper back. My legs are wider than what you would normally have them for a pelvic pull. I'm not trying to work into your abs or your glutes or anything. Inhale. Exhale, pressing that back down, releasing the spine, releasing over the front of the hips and feeling that mobility in the upper back. Inhale again. Exhale, gently curving down every single vertebra. And as I round my back down, I reach my arms really far away from my body, controlling it back. Inhale. Exhale, pressing that back down as much as you can, peeling that spine up off of the mat, keeping that chin in so it's totally relaxed in the neck. Inhale there. Exhale, gently curving down through the spine, thinking every single vertebra, releasing and controlling to neutral. Keeping that towel under the glutes, take your right foot on your left knee, straighten that left leg up. You're going to grab the calf and you're putting that calf in towards you. While you pull that calf in, take this elbow. Just press that elbow open a little bit, just to release inside that hip and release it completely. And we bring that leg in again behind that calf, pulling that leg closer to you. And we switching over to the other leg, goes onto the knee, reach that leg up. You can grab under the other foot if you need to, otherwise, Grab that calf, pulling it in, and gently releasing, and pulling that leg closer, opening that left knee for me as much as you can, and gently release. Place the legs down, cross them over each other. So I've crossed right over left. I've got my arms out to the side. You're gently going to inhale, drop both legs over to the left as you inhale. Exhale, pull it back to the center. And inhale, reaching it far away from you. And as I go far, I reach my right arm away from you. Exhale, back to the center. And inhale, reaching far away, getting that rotation in the spine. And exhale, back to center. Inhale, reaching up and over. And as I do it now, I float my right arm above my head and exhale, put it back to the center. And inhale, floating that right arm up above the head. And exhale, bringing it back. We switch over. So the left leg goes over the right. We inhale, go up and over to the right with the legs. And exhale, bringing it back. So that breathing is so important. Inhale, taking it over because it really stimulates that vagus nerve, which is the one that's going to say to that brain, you need to relax. Exhale, bringing it back. 
Inhale, up and over. Float that left arm above your head and feel that stretch along your side. And exhale, bringing it back. Inhale, reaching those legs over, taking that left arm right up above your head. And exhale. Last one, inhale, reaching it up and over with a big inhale so the muscles can pull away from the rib cage and the spine. And then exhale, drawing it forward. Bringing both legs in, hugging both knees into your chest from there. And you're gently going to rock your legs from left to right. And you'll feel how it presses into the muscles in your back. You've got one side of your back that has more muscle bulk. You'll feel it now as you walk from side to side. Bring it back to the center. Take the towel out. You're going to grab behind your legs for me, and I want you to curve your body up. So in this position, I want you to lean forward over your legs. Grab underneath your feet for me. So this is going to really get your spine to flex and stretch. Open your knees, put your feet down on the floor and allow your body to drop through the legs. Flex the feet back up and you recover on top of it. And we open the knees out, put the feet down on the floor, get that spine to stretch. And then bring the knees back in as I come back to the center. Inhale, opening those knees as we go into the stretch. Stay there. Exhale for me. From there, straighten only that right leg. I'm still rounded in my back, so I'm not asking you to straighten your back. You're going to feel it stretching underneath the arm here. We call that the lutus and the dorsi. We're stretching a lot of the smaller muscles of the shoulder as well, right into the back, right into a muscle on the opposite side called the quadratus lumborum. Slowly slide that leg back in. Left leg slides out, reaching it far. And now take that foot, don't flex it anymore. Point that foot over so that it can pull you into that back to release that stretch. Staying there and slowly sliding it back in. Right leg goes away. From there, take your foot that's flexed and point it over. So you can see how it actually pulls my body forward. We increase that stretch. And the stretch increases under the arm and on the opposite side's lower back. And bring it in. Last time, be careful if you have any disc issues, please, reaching this forward and pointing over with that foot to increase that stretch, holding it there, and gently bringing it in. Both legs go out. You go as low as you can. You don't have to have a flat back today because I know it's gonna be neural. Don't flex your feet. Point your feet over for me so that you can get over those legs and I'm not pulling on those nerves. Relaxing down there. I want you to curve back up and bend your knees. I'm really rounding my back. And then I come up and I reach forward onto my feet or my calf. Inhale, curve back. Exhale, bringing it up and reaching. Inhale, curving back. Exhale, bringing it up and reaching forward. Bend your legs to me, shuffle to the front of your mat, place your hands behind you. So I've normally got it at a 45 degree angle. If you know that you're really tight in your chest, you can take your hands a little bit wider from there. I'm going to allow you to collapse into your shoulders, which we normally don't want anybody to do, but I want you to rest into the shoulders. You're going to inhale, roll them back, open them out, and arch your back as you in. Exhale, release and drop. Inhale, opening it out. 
Exhale. Release and drop. Inhale. Opening it up. And exhale. Release and drop. And inhale. Opening it out. We're going to keep it open. Inhale. Both legs go over to the right. You'll feel how much that left arm stretches. Exhale, center. Inhale. Both legs over to the left. Exhale, center. Inhale. Both legs over to the right. And I'm collapsing in the shoulder. I don't mind. And exhale. Back to the center. And inhale. Up and over to the left. And I'm pushing away with this arm. And exhale, bring it back to the center. Cross the left leg over the right leg. You're going to take both legs over to the right. You're going to place the left arm down on the floor. And I want you to reach over with the right arm to that left arm. So you'll see I've completely rotated my body. And then gently bringing it back up, just like that. We take the legs over to the right, right arm over to the left. And bringing it back to the center. Use a big inhale. So it can pull those muscles away from the ribs and the spine. And bringing it back to the center. Switching over to the other side. So we're going to take the legs over to the left. Put that right arm down, left arm comes over the side, and we bring it back to the center. And we reach up and over with the legs, over to the left. This arm reaches far away from me, and bringing it back to the center. Last one. And we reach up and over as far as I can, and bringing it back to the center. Legs wider than your hips for me there. From there, both legs go over to the left. This elbow stays down. And I want you to really stretch that hip away from you as much as you can. And bring it to the center. Both legs go over to the right. Press that left elbow into the floor. Just stretching over the front of the hip and pulling this leg away from you. And bringing it to the center. We go over to the left, hold that there for me, reach this arm up and over. So now I'm directly on my side and I've placed my right hand down on the floor. So I've twisted my body around and I bring it back to the seat. We go inhale, rolling onto the hips, placing everything down, placing this arm down, but I've reached it far away from me and I'm resting my head on my hand. And bringing it back to the center. Last one. Up and over. Placing my head on my hand. Reaching this arm far away from me. And back to the center. We switch over to the other side. This elbow is up. We go up and over. Reaching as far as I can. Placing that hand down. Putting my head on my hand here. And bringing it back to the center. We go up and over, placing this hand down, putting my head resting on this arm, and opening it back to the center. Last one, reaching up and over, placing it all down, resting my head on this arm, and gently bringing it back to the center. Hold it there for me. Open those shoulders as much as you can. Keep those shoulders open. Just gently press that pelvis up and slowly swing it back. And gently press it up and slowly swing it back. So we're just stretching the front of the shoulders, pressing it up and slowly swinging it back. And inhale. Pressing it up and slowly swinging it back. 
from there, bring your arms over for me so that you're actually holding your opposite shoulder blades. You're going to keep that position, gently swaying the spine from side to side, just loosening up that thoracic spine, holding it back into the center, right leg over left leg, rotating the torso. So I'm twisting this way as much as I can, growing tall in the back. I want you to keep that curve back so that spine gets that feeling as well. And then gently bringing it up and opening that chest. And exhale, curving back. And inhale, bringing it up and opening the chest. You switch over to the other side. Left leg crosses over right. You rotate all the way around, holding it there. We gently curve back, allowing that spine to rest. And then gently press it up and open that chest. And gently curving back, allowing the spine to rest. And gently bringing it up and opening the chest. Last one. And gently curving it back. And bringing it up and completely opening the chest. And really sitting like that, maybe. So from here, I want you to go all the way around, straighten your left leg, and lower yourself down onto that leg. Now you're just gonna sway into your hips to allow your hips to absolutely release. If you can fully extend that knee, that would be fantastic. But I really want this hip to come around. So that I'm resting into that other. Gently open it out. As I open it out, I reach this arm far away from me. And then I rotate back into that hip. And I lower my chest down. And open it out, really reaching far away from me. So I take this leg and I pull it away from me. And gently lowering back into that hip. Last one, opening it out, really reaching far away with that leg and slowly rotating into that straight. Bringing it up, take this foot, bring it further out there. I want you to hold that position, take this hip, rock it forward and back. And we inhale, exhale back, inhale. Exhale back, inhale, exhale back, last one, exhale back, hold that. You're going to lower down onto your elbows for me. In this position where I am now, bring this heel up and holding it there. So you're keeping that foot over there for five, four, three. Two, one, and lowering it down, switching over to the other side. We're going to start sitting like that. We're going to extend this leg and drop down onto the elbows, getting into that hip. So I'm going to take this hip and rotate it forward as much as I can, reaching this arm away and gently releasing. When I release, I this arm above my head and I take this leg and I really pull it far away from me and bringing it back, rotating forward and opening it out and reaching that leg far away from me as I inhale and exhale, rotating down and inhale opening it out as much as you can and exhale bringing it down and inhale rotating it around as much as you can last one for me dropping it all the way down and gently opening it out you're going to bend both legs i want you to go back for me there so you're rolling back like that you actually can make this leg straight. You're going to pull this leg 
in for me there. So we're stretching in that glute as much as you can. Just hold that position. Four, five, four, three, two, one. So I'm putting this foot closer and closer to my face. And then gently releasing, facing, looking straight in front of you. So we're looking straight ahead now. Relax your arms and your shoulders completely. So there's no tension here. Your body is completely loose. You're going to go up and over. And as I go over, I hold my head over here. So it's completely resting. And I get a stretch along that side of my body, taking a really deep inhale. As I exhale, rotate and put that elbow down onto that knee. And you'll feel how amazing that feels in your back. Just be careful if you've got any disc issues, you've got to keep this range really small. Inhale, opening it out again. And exhale, going up and over. So I'm still holding my head. My shoulders are completely relaxed. Inhale, opening it out. And exhale, really pulling that elbow away from you to get that stretch. The last one, inhale. And exhale, rotating all the way around, feeling that beautiful stretch in your spine, bringing it out to the side, reach that arm out, float yourself all the way over. So if you have any disc issues, you can stay at this point. Don't go all the way down. We're going to go over. We're going to hold the head. We keep this position. We inhale here. We exhale. Rotate around with that elbow down on the knee. Inhale, opening it out. And exhale, rotating around. Elbow to the knee and inhale, opening it up and exhale, rotating around, elbow to the knee, increasing that stretch in the spine. Inhale and exhale, gently rotating around, increasing that stretch. Inhale back to the side, reaching that arm. And gently recovering it up, crossing the arms over each other for me, rotating the spine left to right, just to release in the back. And gently relax it down. Head goes to the left. The body goes with it. We circle it around to the right. And we bring it back up to the center. So we're not keeping anything stable. We go over to the right. We circle it round to the left and we bring it back up to the center, over to the left and circling it around to the right and gently bringing it up. Over to the right, everything is loose, circling it around to the left and gently bringing it up. Round your spine back for me. So I'm pulling onto my legs there. I'm really curving my spine all the way back. So I look at that and then bring it up. Pull the body forward. Reach your arms in front of you there. And we roll back. We curve that spine back deeply, deeply, deeply. We reach the arms up and we go over. And curving that spine back, getting a deep flexion in that spine. Reaching the arms up and taking it all the way. Last one. Curving that spine back as much as you can. You hold it there and I want you to pull into your elbows and gently pull right here by your feet. So I haven't reached forward and I want you to hold onto your feet. So you in a deep, deep curve in your spine and you can feel your glutes stretching over. Stay here. Now take your arms and drop your torso down completely onto your feet. And you'll feel that that might feel a little bit uncomfortable. Take a really deep inhale there. 
Exhale, blow it out. Deep inhale. Exhale. Left leg goes out to the side. Slightly bend for me. Hold it with your left hand. This foot is in and it's close to you. You're going to reach this arm up and you're going to straighten that leg away from you and gently bring it back in and slide. And we go reaching it away from you and slide it back in. And we go reach up and over. We keep this one here. If you have a disc issue, please keep this movement really small. You're going to be here. Do not do this next piece where we rotate down and we hold onto that foot or the calf, whichever one you can get to. If you're on the foot, keep that. I want you to point that foot over and you'll feel how it increases the stretch over here at what we call the quadratus lumborum. And flex the foot back and point that foot over, increasing that stretch and flexing it back. And inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. From there, come back to the side and slowly floating back up. Quite hectic. I can feel that beautiful stretch. I love it. So we've got a flex foot there. We're holding onto that foot, reaching this arm up. We slide that foot away. And sliding it back in. And gently sliding it away. And slowly back in. And reach, sliding it away. If you can, rotate around, grabbing onto the foot or onto the calf. It doesn't matter. If you can, increase that stretch. Point that foot over. Exhale, flex. Inhale, point. Exhale, flex. Inhale, point. Exhale, flex. Gently open it out to the side and slowly bring yourself back up. It can be quite hectic. Put your soles of your feet together for me, please. So we're holding underneath the feet. I want you to open your chest for me. So it's like I take this curved spine and I push it forward as much as I can. Once I've pushed it forward, I round over, I curve back, and then I bring it up and I push it forward. I round over, curve back. So I'll show you from the side. And I bring it up, I push it forward. I round over and I curve and bring it up, pushing it forward, rounding over and curving back. Last one. And bring it up, push it forward, round over and curving it back. Stay exactly where you are. The right foot comes up, the left one stays down. You take this leg and you literally push it away from us as much as we can. And release. And we push it again. And release. It's totally relaxed. And we push it. And release. Bringing it back to the center. Our other one lifts up. We hold on to that knee. We inhale, push it away. And release. Dropping back and inhale. And release. And inhale. And release. Bring both legs together, going onto your knees, please. So I want you to push right back as much as you can. And I want you to try and reach those arms as far as you can and drop your torso to the floor. You can actually open your knees a little bit so it gets you to extend that thoracic spine. 
From there, you're going to curve up through the spine. And I want you to come all the way through until you're resting through in the back. So I'm totally relaxing. And I'm lifting out of my shoulders. I haven't collapsed. I'm lifting up. Please be careful if you've got any spinal issues. Don't go to this position. You're going to curve back up when your feet closer together. Round your spine as much as you can. And stretch out of those shoulders. I want you to curve up as much as you can. And you're going to start gently uncurling your spine, straightening your legs out, and opening that chest and lifting right out of those shoulders. Gently curving back, feet come together again. And we reach away from us with those arms. From there, curve that spine up. I'm rounding, I'm rounding, I'm rounding. My pelvis comes closer and I start straightening my legs, opening the chest and getting a stretch in the front of the hips and in the tummy. And gently curving back in. Feet come closer together again, dropping down into those shoulders. Round that spine up, gently bringing it all the way through. Opening that chest out and increasing that stretch as much as you can. Then. So I'm really trying to lift out of my shoulders. Then. Gently curve all the way back. From here, coming halfway up, left arm drops through and this arm straightens up. So I'm increasing that rotation in my spine. I take my glutes. And I lean them towards the arm that's on the floor, and this one that's straight on the floor. You're going to lean the glutes over that way. Hold that position. Take a really deep inhale. Exhale, blowing it all out. Deep inhale. Exhale, blow it out. Bring this arm back here to help you recover, pressing all the way up. The other arm goes down, this arm goes straight through, rotating that spine, reaching this left arm right above the head, leaning those glutes towards the right hand side of the arm that's flat on the floor, taking a really deep inhale there. Exhale, blowing it all out. Deep inhale. Exhale out. Bring this left hand back to help you recover up to a normal position. I want you to drop straight into your shoulders, right down to the floor now. And then I want you to curve your spine up. Rock it right, rock it left, bring it to the center. Dropping all the way down, curving that spine up. Rock it right, rock it left. And bring it to the center. We drop down again, bringing it all the way up, rocking it right, left to the center. Curl the toes under, reach the glutes up so I'm getting a stretch. And then I curve my spine, I lower it down, and I push it back, bringing it forward, curling under, lifting up. Bringing it round, in, and curling up. And curl the toes under, bringing it up, forward. Curving, bringing it in, and lowering it back. Both hands go over to the right, and I lean my glutes over to the left hand side. I'm completely skew now. And I can feel the stretch in that left side along where your obliques and lats are. And we bring it to the center. We take it over to the other side, leaning the glutes over to the right. And you're going to feel a stretch along your lats and obliques here. Maybe a little bit of quadratus lumborum. And bringing it back to the center. Down on your elbows for me, please. So we're right down on our elbows. I want you to curl your toes under. In this position, keep the toes curled under because that's going to keep your pelvis high 
and I want you to drop back into your shoulders. And this is going to get your thoracic spine to get a little bit more extension, bringing it forward for me and taking it back again, also warming up those knees for me and bringing it forward and taking it back, releasing that thoracic spine. And gently forward. Last one. And reaching back, holding it there for me, getting that spine open. Rock from left to right in this position with those toes curled under. So we're loosening up in those hips completely and in the shoulders, just allowing it to completely and utterly release. From there, bring it to the center. Hands come right by your knees, and I want you to come to this standing position where I'm flexing forward over my legs. I'm totally hanging here. I'm not putting my hands flat on the floor. I'm just keeping them just off, and my knees are bent. I want you to circle your arms there and just feel how completely heavy they are. Don't control that movement. Allow it to be free. Feel all the blood rushing to your feet. Reverse those circles. So you're circling the other way and it's just relaxed and free. Place both hands underneath your right foot. I'll show you from the front, both hands go under right foot. Open your legs a little bit wider. Lean your body over to that left hand side while my hands are under my right foot. And you're going to feel a stretch in that left side of your back. If you've got any spinal issues, this isn't going to be too great for you. So I need you to just stay in the center and bring it back to the center. And we pull it over and push that foot down for me so you can really get a stretch in that back and in that side. And bring it to the center. Over to the other side, hooking the hands underneath that foot, plant this foot into the floor and really leaning over. To that right hand side and bring it to the center and pushing this foot down even more the more i push that foot down the more i increase that stretch along my spine and bring it to the center last one for me and reaching up and over taking a really nice inhale here bringing it to the center holding it here gently circling the arms around and just releasing in those shoulders. Place your hands on the floor and gently bring your knees back down. I want you to take your left leg and take it forward. You can take your towel that you folded and place it underneath this right. Right, so we've got this leg forward and I need it quite far forward. You're gonna take your right arm, rest your elbow on this knee, Reach this arm up for me as much as you can with an inhale. And then exhale, just recover it back down to the floor, just to give it a break. Inhale, opening out, and I'm dropping down with my pelvis and I'm getting a stretch along the front and a stretch along the front there, resting this elbow and placing it down. The last one. Reaching it up, reaching it up. Now take your hand on this knee and lean your body back from me. So I'm holding on that knee to help me lean and then gently placing it. Hold that. We straighten that back leg as much as you can. Place this hand down and rotate this on up. Just keeping that beautiful stretch in the front of the hip and gently bringing it switching over to the other leg. So, left knee on, taking a really nice leap forward with the right leg. This elbow on the knee, left hand goes up. We increase that stretch as we inhale and exhale. Placing it down. I'm loving it. And inhale, reaching up, 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 and exhale. And inhale, reaching it up, reaching it up. Hold on to this knee, really extend that leg from oh, that back for me and press that arm away 
and gently bringing this down. I want you to extend that back knee, reach this arm up, just enjoy that rotation, stretch in the front of the left hip and in the glutes of the right leg. Hold that deep inhale. And exhale. Deep inhale. And exhale. Gently bring it all the way down. Recover into both knees on the towel. So both of my knees are resting on the towel. We've got them over there. I need you to hold this position. Sitting up tall in your spine. Relax your hands on your knees, palms facing up. Chin into your chest. And you're gently going to curve your spine down. You'll see my elbows are bent. I reach the arms forward. I reverse that movement. I bring the elbows back onto the thighs. And I gently restack my spine. Chin. Exhale as I roll down. Inhale as I reach. Exhale as I pull it back. Inhale. Restack. Exhale. Inhale, reach. Exhale, pull it back. Inhale, we stack. Last one for me. Exhale. Inhale, reach the arms. Exhale, back. Inhale, we stack. Stay sitting there. You can either sit on the towel if you're uncomfortable. So you can place it underneath your glutes. You can sit like you were, or you can sit cross-legged, whichever way is easier for you. And I want you to relax your arms by your sides completely. So I'm actually going to ask you to lift your wrists up like this. And we slowly release in the shoulders. So we're just letting those shoulders let go. And as you do that, I want you to free up your neck completely. So there's no tension. Everything is releasing. Shoulders are released, all that computer work is flying out of your body. Hold it in the center with your head. Keep going with your arms. I want you to do gentle circles with your shoulders. So I'm not lifting my shoulders to my ears. I'm actually moving my elbows. Hold it, interlace like that for me. So you're going to hold your hands like that. I've got them there. I lift those arms up, 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 as high as I can, and release and drop. I want that release and drop, so that's really important. And we go the other way, a little bit of brain work there, lifting it up, 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 as high as you can, and release and drop. Reach your arms up to the ceiling as high as you can, but I haven't lifted my shoulders and my ears. I'm still exposing that underarm to make sure that scapula is on the side and release it and drop and your whole body collapsing. Deep inhale as you reach the arms up, 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 opening the chest and exhale. Completely. Last one. Reaching it up, 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 up. And exhale. Completely relax. Reach forward over your legs for me and just stay really low with your body. I want you to stay in that position and feel how your hips start releasing. They might be gripping on quite a bit now. Just rock your body from side to side. So it's not too intense when, when a stretch or a movement is too intense for the body. It's got receptors in the muscles that make it restrict the amount of stretch that you can do. That actually stops you from releasing and stretching. Take a really deep breath here. Exhale, blow it all out. 
you're blowing it out and you're breathing in because you're activating and stimulating that vagus nerve, which is at the base of your brain and allows your brain to switch off whenever it's stimulated. And that means all the stress and the subconscious nonsense switches off for a brief moment and that's why a deep inhale and exhale feels so good for the body i want you to gently roll up through your spine and you're going to lie flat on your back on the mat so you take the towel out you should feel that your spine should ease onto the mat now. lower the legs down nice and straight and I want your arms by your sides. So now you're not going to have them right up against you. I want them really a little bit further away from your body. And I want everything to really relax. So if you are relaxed, you'll feel that your legs naturally flop open. Close your eyes for me and just listen to my voice. I want you to Feel that your toes have totally let go. There's no tension in your feet. Your ankles are soft. Feel that your calves have completely released. And your thighs, the front and back, are draping onto. Feel that your stomach is really soft and it's just sinking towards the floor. Your hips in the front have released. Feel that your glutes or your bum is literally draped on the floor. Your tummy muscles and your back muscles are soft. Nothing is contracted. Your arms are really heavy. And your fingertips are slightly bent. And that means that you are relaxed in your hands. Feel your shoulders just flop open. Test to see whether you're holding any tension in your shoulders. Just allow gravity to pull them down to the floor. Feel that the muscles in the front of your neck are soft. Your jaw should be hanging open slightly. And that means that the muscles of the jaw are relaxed. Feel the skin on your face draping to the floor. Your eyelids are as still as possible. You have no frown lines. Every muscle in your face is soft and relaxed. Take a really deep inhale. Blowing all the air out. And this time when you inhale, float your arms above your head to the floor. Inhale. Feel your back open. Exhale. Arms come back down by your side. Last one. Inhale. And exhale, bringing it back down by your side. Put your arms by your sides, gently rock your head from side to side. No tension in it. It's just relaxed, it's not robotic, and it's just letting go. Bringing it back to the center.
Take one last deep inhale. And exhale, blowing all the air out. Every last little bit of the air. And completely relax. Well done, everybody. Are you sleeping? <laughs> I love that. I just have to keep giving these classes because I just love it so much. I just feel so good afterwards. <laughs> okay, so there we go. I'm not going to say, do you have any questions? Who wants to ask any questions after that? You actually just want to go and chillax and hop in bed. So thank you so much for joining. I will send each of you the recording and you can go back to it. And if you're a teacher, you can even go and teach it yourself. I hope you feel chilled. I hope you feel like your body's full of oxygen. And I hope you feel like absolutely nothing worked today. Have a wonderful day further. Bye.